That was fair. Ugh. You try. So you're on a mission to one more. So that bottom car park that everybody uses because it's free and because it's convenient. Gypsies have moved in. To the car park? Yes. So the entire back row of parking lots are filled with caravans. And they've made a, a, a really, really big mess of that car park because that's what they do. You know what I mean? They're, they're a very interesting type of folk. It's just all jacked up on the, the script you know game. So we went down and your first immediate thought is, great. We should leave the car here. Yeah, type deal. And they're on that bottom bit. We ended up moving the car, luckily enough. And this is not me condemning all gypsies, guys, but the gypsies where we come from, they're, they're probably really nice people, but they, they, they're essentially above the law. And to me, it's just wrong. Yeah, they don't they don't pay taxes or, or anything. They just... They just destroy. They steal, they destroy. Yeah, and here they're not allowed to stay on land for a certain amount of time, are they? So they keep getting moved on, and then they'll end up somewhere else that they shouldn't be and generally they destroy things to be able to get on land yep. so that the council end up putting up barriers and concrete walls and stuff to stop them they dismantle parks they they the one try to tell you that your guttering's bad so that they can fix it yeah they're the, they're the ones that'll steal like slate off roofs and yeah, these are, these copper are people from that are churches and stuff copper from fucking train lines and when the trains come in it's unbelievable, but we moved the car anyway, and I went and I got in it. And you know, every single family, person, couple, whatever that walked past going down to that car park had the same expression on their face of just utter disgust. At you, at, yeah, yeah, at me. Just some dude well, sat I in a car, not having any effect on anything. Just walking, gypsies. staring at those caravans as they were walking towards where their car is. It's because people don't... Like, everybody had the same face. It was unbelievable. And nobody was hiding the just utter disdain towards them. I think the thing is, like, up until very recently with all the stuff... Not with the cars. With, um, all the stuff on TV with gypsies in. Like my big fat gypsy wedding and all that sort of fun stuff I would like crap TV people didn't know very much about them other than the fact that they didn't pay taxes and they got everything for free and, and they don't they always them. have like massive 4x4 Audis and they all have 12 cars and they're all called John Smith just in case somebody gets in trouble with police <laughs> John Smith here and then they all stand up yeah, so I think it's people have that attitude of well, why not show our disgust because they have no forethought for us when they. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Do. That wasn't water. That could have been much worse. <laughs> uh, I understand why people think that. Way. But the face was amazing. Everybody's <laughs> face was just. You could tell what they were thinking by the face, and I was having a, the, the time of my life. And there was this one guy, this one really shifty looking guy in a big coat, and he, he kept walking, pacing about 200 yards back and forth on the back of this estate, back to this van. And every time he were walking, he were looking at it, just everywhere around him, really furtively, as if he was scheming. And I had absolutely no idea what he was doing, but every single step he took was purpose, and he just kept walking back and forth. Was he a gypsy, do you think? I don't think so. I don't know. You're just weird. You need to kill them less at mascots. I just... When you said you you know, what, guy work, walking around with purpose, purpose but not yeah. having a purpose, it really reminded me of just this random dude on my failed trip to a, a <laughs> township. That's also reminded me as well. I was talking to Evan and Elliot about, you know, place names that... I, I described it initially as the woman on the train Yeah. says really funny. Says. As in, like, where we come from, where we go. Yeah, like, she'll say, woo, well. Yeah. Oh, I oh, oh I, the announcer yeah, yeah, the lady. Yeah, the announcer lady. And I said that for the majority, people, would, people, would, say, people would say woo, well. Well, it's, it's like foul stone, isn't it? You said woo, well, just then they were like, and <laughs> Evan and Elliot were just baffled, like, woo, well, woo. Well, it's, it's like, yeah. Ooh. It's like places that have got, like, Cudworth. 
Yeah. Which is Cudworth. And there's there's a lot of stuff like that. See, that's the thing. Ours are less weird than theirs. Yeah. It all depends on if you're from that area, because, like, Falstone, which is Falston. I'd say Falston. Yeah, we call it Falston. We've always called it Falston. That is the school. Have you seen it? Well, it's gone. Yeah. Unbelievable, man. Knocking down schools so you can rebuild them on fucking floodplains in an area that's about as rapey as it gets. <laughs> Goodness me. And they've built a massive bridge over a bypass so the kids can get to school, but because it takes twice as long to walk, there's like hundreds and hundreds of kids every morning crossing a bypass. It is cool, though, <laughs> that bridge at night when it's all lit up. and It does look awesome, but none of the kids are using it. They've also not... I'm um, driving away from what it wants me to do here. I'm getting a lot of roadkill, though. Um, I know a couple of people that are there now. I'm like, my mum knows their mum sort of thing. And they've not done it right because they're, they're so not used to having a school with that many kids in. Because it's this new scheme that they're building super schools with, like, five times as many kids and combining schools and stuff. And... There's not enough. The dinner hour isn't long enough to feed, to feed all, them all the kids. Yeah, I heard about that. And the the buses aren't big enough to get all the kids back, so kids are having to walk. In Rapeville. Yeah, it's a forest and old pit lanes and stuff in there. It is. It's it's so dark, and it's it's one of those places where when you were younger, you used to make up stories that Dracula lived there or it's some horrid. kind of monster. I mean, they've opened it up a bit, but behind either side of the school, I it's forest and this. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's dense forest as well. Rivers too. It's not fun. You know, kids having to walk from from there to to Artley and Stairfoot and stuff. Oh, this is so gay. Who thinks this is fucking fun, man? These golf buggy twats. <laughs> dressed like bottles, just being an absolute night. He's on fire. Him. Mm-hmm. Not getting any points off the cars. But that school is, is so fucking doomed, and it's funny because when we, when we drive past it, my mum gets so indignant. It's amazing. Like what? Because my mum does swedo politics. Like, <laughs> she doesn't pay attention to really any politics, but she's got an opinion on it. Yeah. And I'm going to fail here if I can't get this fucking car out of this ditch. Last time we drove past it, there were floodlights on with kids playing football, you know, after school. Yeah. In, in some kind of like extracurriculum activity or something. I don't really know what it was. And the first thing she said is, that pisses me off, that. Like, what? They're, they're, they're using all that money to play football after school hours and there's a recession on. <laughs> it's like, really, Mum? That, that's like, how you're going to phrase it? There's all these problems in, in societies and in communities and in towns and villages like this one. And you're getting pissed off that a bunch of kids are not on the streets doing drugs stealing, pillaging, becoming absolute vandals and just despicable human beings, they're actually doing something that might benefit them in future life that is both positive and proactive. And you're getting indignant that they're using a few lights? I don't, I don't think she'd be able to handle the things that I saw on my placement. Because until I was researching doing that course, I didn't realise that what it meant by Bansley Academy being a, a, an advocate of this scheme is that the school's considered a lo- it's considered to have a low socioeconomic status. And I, I never really think of it. I can't move. Oh. So close to doing it as well. I just nearly got fucked. Carry on. Um, oh, I this waypoint is evil. I never really think of it like that. I know it's Kendry and Stairfoot and that sort of thing, so it's, it's kind of the rougher areas of where we live anyway. But... You know, when you consider, like, gangland London and inner city Manchester and stuff, I never think of round here being that bad, but... Well, it's it's subjective, isn't it? It's like when you watch news for a long period of time and it makes you think that all there is in the world is death and disease and mm. firearms and pirates and terrorists, and then you, you look out your door and you see a bird <laughs> just chilling out and there's no gunfire, there's no bombs. Everything's right, don't yeah, it's it's what you make out. This waypoint is annoying. <laughs> well, saying that, I was reading the um, the news the other day. There was some guy in Barnsley who set fire to another guy, some like autistic kid. 
So that's fun. It's horrible. Burning the disabled. Sounds like something that's definitely going to catch on. And it was like it set my light with tanning oil and didn't think it didn't know what would happen. I was like, oh yeah. So the first thing we think of to do is put a flame to it. But to begin with, the motive is to set him on fire. Yeah. So it was his birthday party as well. His wow. Eighteenth birthday party. Aren't we nice? Well, I read the whole article, and it was something that somebody had like posted on Twitter. Somebody that I don't know. And then... Right funny this. <laughs> right, no, right at the end. No, not even someone from bands. It was like a celebrity or something. Oh, yeah. That's done. 